Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green! In the last episode, we met up with a guy who owns a game corner who was trying to find his lost daughter, Lostel, and this is why we came to Three Island, and we made it all the way over here to the Bond Bridge, and here we are at the Berry Forest! In this episode, we're going to the Berry Forest to find Lostel, so let's go ahead and uh, get on exploring. So, if you have the TM for cut, this trip is a lot easier. However, I don't have that luxury. So, we're just going to have to go through it by normal means. So, let's just go ahead and go around. I don't think there are any trainers in here. And I believe if you check these black spots over here, you get some items. Uh, some of them have items, some of them don't. Most of them are going to be berries, if not all of them. So, be sure to check up all the spots, how however much you can. And uh, wild Pokemon. There are going to be some wild Pokemon going up in here. There are no new wild Pokemon to be found here. However, there are a crap ton of wild Pokemon. Different types of wild Pokemon to find. Here we have a Chesto Berry, which cures paralysis. I th no, actually, I think the Chesto Berry restores sleep. Uh, nothing over there. I'm going to try to... You know what? Let's just go ahead and use Repel. Because, uh, well, I don't feel like fighting wild Pokemon. While we go through this area. Uh, we could go over there, but... Uh, Nah, not really worth it. Uh, nothing up there, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's fine. Nothing over here either? Jeez. I wanted to find some freaking items, but I guess that's not going to happen right now, is it? Uh, let's see, anything over here? Yep, we got a Nanab Berry. I don't know what that does, but backwards, that word backwards is banana, which is kind of cool. What is over here? Let's go ahead and take a little surfing trip and take a little detour. And I need like a million cuts to do that, but I don't have the freaking cut thing. I don't have any Pokemon that can use cut right now. Here we have a Petra Berry, which I believe restores uh, poison. Beware a wild, berry loving Pokemon. Hmm, that's pretty uh, cool. Do I have my Pokemon ready for this? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Let's go up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, please help! A scary Pokemon appeared! <laughs> there a little while ago. It kept snaring. It kept scaring. It made Lostel scared. I'm too scared to move up when I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Why? I want my daddy. And with this, you guys, you have a wild hypno scaring off little children because this thing is apparently a pedophile. So I guess we can go over hypno while we're here. Hypno is a, uh, as I mentioned before, it's very, very bulky in a special defense. And, uh, that's all it's really good for. I mean, I could take the time to try to catch it for the Pokedex, and you know what? That is what I'm going to do, because, uh, well, this is an old, well, I mean, you can catch one in the wild, but this is pretty much like a guaranteed find here. So, I guess I could try to throw some balls at it to see if I can catch it for the Pokedex, but until that point, let's go ahead and see if we can do it. So, throw another Ultra Ball, and if it fails here, I'm just going to run away. One, two, three... And there we go. We caught Hypno. Not going to use it on my team, as I keep saying about Pokemon I catch. However, I just wanted this thing for the Pokedex. Alrighty then. Thank you very much for that one. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Lostel came to pick some berries. You can have this. And we got the Anapa Berry. That's pretty cool. What's your name? Lostel's scared, so I can go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. So you rescued Lostel. How could I thank you? Lostel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got friends. I got to be friends with Jamie. Alrighty then. Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know that I have love, rare rocks, and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. And we have to hand the meteorite to the father. How nice. Oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. And we get a moonstone. That's pretty interesting. So now that we gave him the meteorite. I guess the one thing that we can do now is go back to Bill and told him, and uh, not told him, that's, that's past tense, and tell him that uh, we gave the guy the meteorite and he gave us a pretty cool item. So let's go ahead and just do that. Hopefully the PC by that point will work so I can take out my freaking Magmar. That would be really cool. Alrighty then. Oh, hey, Jamie. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? We got it done. The PCs are up and running. There we go. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, that was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. 
Jamie, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. And, uh, I guess we are going back to Kanto because we have finished what we were doing here in the first three islands. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seems to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. Okay, so the reason why they put these, these islands there in that part of the game is because in the original game, there wasn't a big gap between the 7th and 8th uh, the seventh and eighth gym. However, with that, it kind of splits it up a little bit. But, let's go ahead and uh, take out our amazing Inferno the Magmar. Hardy nature. Uh, I think hasty is the neutral one. I don't remember what that move, uh, what that ability does. But it's a pretty cool looking Magmar. And we're definitely going to have an amazing uh, set to our team. Let's go ahead and switch it with our Pidgey. Because I don't think Pidgey is going to be that much useful here. So I think that we should give Magmar some opportunity to battle here. Because he is going to be a uh, pretty solid member of our team. Let's go ahead and put him out in the front. He's level 38. So I mean, he's not that far off from the rest of the guys. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, before we go to where we're going to head off in this episode, we're going to go over here and buy some items. Because I want some Ultra Balls. That's right, I need more of these things to try to catch more Pokemon with. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and go over here. And where am I going to go in this episode? Well, we're going to have to take another trip. We're going over here to the east of Cinnabar Island to Route 20. And I believe there are no new wild Pokemon to be found here, so I'm not going to go over and explain. I'm just going to go ahead and use a Max Repel and just fight some trainers. because That would be very, very awesome. And Magmar is out in the front. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Cinnabar in the west has a lab for Pokemon. My daddy works there. Well, that's pretty interesting. Hmm, I wonder what we can find out here. Probably some water types, which Magmar does not really do well against, so I don't even know why I even bothered here. Uh, yeah, my moves are uh, kind of useless. I guess we can go ahead and use Sunny Day. Boost the power of fire type moves while weakening the moves of water types. As he completely countered me with that rain dance. That's slightly unfortunate, actually. Yeah, Magmar is not going to be doing too well here. <laughs> Considering he is a fire type and I'm fighting him against water type. So, yeah. That's, that's just the thing, I guess. Alright, hit twice. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and try out your amazing fire punch. Let's see how much damage that does. Let's go for it. Let's see how much damage this does with the sun. Wow, what power, Magmar! You know how to get work done, Inferno. I need to call you that because we have a new male on our team. We have two males, which isn't bad at all. Alrighty then. The sunlight is strong, very much strong. Go for the fire punch and see how much damage this does. Hopefully it kills. No, not quite. I mean, it still did a lot of damage to this thing, so... Another, we're just gonna keep on using Magmar for a little while. I probably will train it. Nah, actually, you know what? I don't think so. It's level 38. It's not that far off from the rest of the team members, so I don't think I necessarily have to train it a little bit more. And I'm now confused. That's slightly unfortunate, actually. So, Magmar, I want you to break off confusion and I want you to hit with the smog. Can we do that? No, I cannot. Okay then. Going for the horn attack, it's gonna do a little bit of damage. However, the flame body burns the Sea King, and that should be it for you. Yes, Suri. There we go. Not bad at all. Okay, so I've learned that Magmar does not want to fight water types. He does not want to fight water types. Let's go ahead and just have Ivy come on out here because, well, she is a grass type and uh, she can handle it. Actually, this person would love to fight against the Magmar. Let's go ahead and, you know what, before we do anything, let me see what TMs I have, because maybe I could teach this thing something. Uh, let's see, a bulk up sunny day, uh, eh. dig, we have, oh, yes, Inferno is learning Fire Blast, that is going to happen right now, and we're getting up the smoke screen, because smoke screen is kind of useless, I'm not going to really use it for anything. But the Fire Blast is powerful. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. So, Inferno, you are pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and fight you. I swam here from Cinnabar Island. It wasn't easy, I tell you. Well, I'm glad that you did not die in the water. 
All right, Picnicker Lady, what do you got for me? You got a Goldeen. You know what? At this point, I don't even care. I packed the freaking Fire Blast, and it's gonna connect. And how much damage is this gonna do to this little Goldeen? It's gonna freaking one shot. That's what it's gonna do. Man, even though you're resistant, Fire Blast is still powerful. Uh, however, the Sea King's uh, Magmar doesn't like Sea King, so we're gonna have Ivy come out out here because I know that she can handle against the Sea King very well. And we can just use the Giga Drain, and that should be the end for that. Hopefully, hopefully, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, get out of here. You're no match for freaking Ivy. Are you kidding me right now? No match. And I'm level 47, which is even more amazing. All right. I'm so disappointed. You should be. You just got destroyed by a Fire-type Pokemon, and you have Water-types. You must not be too happy about that, I'm assuring. Okay. Here we have another freaking person. Let's go ahead and fight him. Check out my buff at Physique. Okay. I really don't care about your quote-unquote buff Physique. With one Pokemon, and that's a star, you level 35. Inferno, bring this guy to the Inferno with your amazing Fire Blast! And will it one-shot? Yes, it will! Magmar, you know how to put in work right now. You don't even care about water types. You're just like, nah, dude, I got this. It just proceeds to Fire Blast everything under the sun. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that could be taken suggestively, but anyways, enough about that. Here is the Shelder, level 30. And since we all know that Shelders don't have the best of all the special defense, the Fire Punch should do a lot of damage. If not one shot just like that. Good job, Magmar. And you have a Cloister, which is part ice. So you know what I'm going to do? Give this thing a good old Fire Punch and see if it knocks it out. And it does! You don't even care! And now we're level 39. I knew we would be getting a lot of experience in this freaking area. And the last Pokemon is a Shelder. And you know what's gonna happen to this little Shelder? It's gonna get Fire Punched to the face, man! Because that's how we do everything! Jeez! Inferno! You sure know how to bring Pokemon to the Inferno! You're insane! Oh no, my pearls were in them! What? Pearls? I don't understand. Hello, sir. I rolled my bird Pokemon here. Oh, we got some freaking non-water types. Oh, boy. Sorry, dude. You're going to get wrecked in a second. Who is a Fero 2, level 30. Level 30? Come on. I've seen worse. Give this thing a good old fire punch to the face and see what happens. Oh, you barely took it out. Barely. You know what? I'm not going to waste any power points. I'm just going to go for the smog. And that is going to be a nice, solid knockout against this thing. Just like that. Alright. All that experience, it's definitely welcome in the family over here. Hello, Firo. Since he didn't one shot, let's go for the Fire Blast. And it does hit. Jeez. This thing knows how to do work. Let's get, let's get rid of that Firo. Firo's nothing. And his last Pokemon is a Pidgeotto. That's going to get Fire Punched. And uh, that should be the end for this battle if this works. And if this knocks it out in one hit, we should be good. And it is very much good. Because that was intense. We are just so freaking powerful, guys. I can't even handle it. Magmar is way too powerful to be... I can't words. Uh, before we progress, do I have... Oh, I, do, I did buy fresh waters. Magmar, you're going to get a lot of HP recovery. Because I bought some items for you, just because uh, I care about you. You deserve some health. Hello, trainer ma'am. Are you on vacation too? I guess you can say I'm on vacation, or that I want to beat you to a pulp. Whichever comes first. And you have a tentacle, and I know from experience that these things have a lot of special defense. So I'm going to just go for the sunny day, because I don't even care about anything right now. And this thing is going to use Constrict. It's going to do absolutely nothing, and it's going to lower my speed. That is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, I really don't care. Let's just go for the Fire Punch and see how much damage this does. Yeah, that actually does a bit of damage, considering, well, it is a, uh, <laughs> it's in the sun, and it's not very effective. So therefore, Magmar, 
you're just plain awesome. Let's go for another fireball. And you're faster than me now. That's pretty a critical hit. Dude. Just just go away, please. I don't even like you, Tentacool. You're just you're just making me really sad. Let's get out of here. And now I'm level 40. We are in the big leads now. And your next Pokemon is a horsey. Okay? So since horsies don't have that much special defense comparatively to Tentacool, I'm pretty sure the Fire Punch might actually one-shot this thing. I'm not too sure, though. It does! It does one-shot! Who knew? Let me guess, your next Pokemon is a seal. Oh, okay. A seal? Alright, so this thing is actually part ice. So Fire Punch is going to be neutral damage, which means we're going to be in the clear. And this is actually, no, it's not part ice yet. That's not until it evolves into Dugong, where it becomes part ice. I just happen to be pretty stupid. Let's go for the Fire Blast. And it does hit. Jeez, Fire Blast has lower accuracy than most moves, and I'm surprised this thing hits more often. And of course, Seal is going to bed. Why wouldn't she go to sleep? Let's go for the Fire Punch. I better have some ethers or something, because this is absolutely crazy. And what a critical. What a freaking critical right there. Uh, let's go for another Fire Punch. I wish I had more moves that aren't fire type on this thing because it's not going to be that effective against most Pokemon. But the fire punch is still doing work and I better have ethers. Ethers or elixirs or whatever you want to call them because, well, that was kind of a ridiculous battle. No mercy at all. I did not show any mercy. Alright, so before I end this episode off, let's go ahead and just find ourselves a... nothing. I don't have anything to restore these things' power points. But that is going to be it for this episode, you guys. Off screen, I'm going to go back and heal up the Pokemon Center to come back here. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going to head off into the Seafoam Islands. Oh boy, this place is going to be insane. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Leaf Green.